Republicans think that crime is their ticket to winning elections this fall. Crime has increased significantly in the Twin Cities and outstate, all across Minnesota. In fact, uh, it is up. Violent crime, uh, we're talking. It increased in 2020 uh, after the riots that followed the police murder of George Floyd. It continued to increase in 2021. Some indications, especially from the city of Minneapolis, is that violent crime has a plateaued in the summer of 2022, but it has still plateaued at a very high level. And so Republicans think that they can tie the current statewide officials, Governor Tim Walz, Attorney General Keith Ellison, both Democrats, to this increase in crime. This summer, we've seen Democrats try to blunt the potential advantage that Republicans have on crime. Governor Walz, in particular, has done a number of public safety themed events, standing with state troopers and other law enforcement officials and uh, talking about his plans for a second term. We've also seen Democrats, including the governor, talk a lot less about police accountability changes that they had called for in the early part of their term and much more about a tough on crime approach that is having uh, state law enforcement officials in Minneapolis in particular and also other areas of the metro uh, to try to blunt the increase in crime. The Supreme Court's decision in June to overturn Roe v. Wade and leave abortion access, abortion rights up to the states had an incredible impact on this year's midterm elections. We've seen Democrats uh, use this issue as one that they think is the most politically potent. They are running on this issue. They are saying that Republicans would try to get in office and at least restrict abortion rights uh, if not try to uh, ban abortion entirely. It's important to note uh, that in Minnesota, abortion access is constitutionally protected under a 1995 state Supreme Court ruling. So even if Republicans get into these statewide offices, for example, if Scott Jensen wins the governor's race, he could not overturn that state Supreme Court ruling unilaterally. Uh, it would take uh, a constitutional amendment or the state Supreme Court ruling differently in a separate case, and both of those are very tall tasks. Republicans haven't won a statewide race in Minnesota since 2006. That was the year Tim Pawlenty, the governor, uh, won his re-election bid. And so since then, Republicans have been uh, trying and hoping, uh, and they think that this is their year. Uh, they think that in 2022, the issues line up perfectly for them. Inflation is high. President Joe Biden's approval rating is relatively low. Uh, crime has been an issue here in Minnesota, and they think that they can tie the current crop of DFL statewide elected officials to that increase in crime. They think this is their year, and history would suggest that they do have one big built-in advantage, and that is that it's a midterm election. Midterms typically don't go well for the party in power, the party in the White House, and that is Democrats this year. You look at 2006, 2010, 2014, 2018, the out party, the party that is not in the White House, picked up seats in all of those years. Republicans are hoping that 2022 follows that trend. Minnesota has one of the earliest early voting periods in the country, 46 days out from the election. Early voting this year starts on Friday, September 23rd. Minnesotans can already request an absentee ballot, and then they can either mail it in or drop that ballot off with their city or county government, whichever controls elections in that particular municipality. Minnesotans also have the option of voting early in person. The state does not require that you give a reason for needing to vote early instead of on election day, making it very simple to vote early. In 2020, during the pandemic, an incredible number of Minnesotans, a record number, voted early. While it's not likely that the state will hit those numbers again this year, it is likely that many Minnesotans will continue to take advantage of the opportunity to vote from home. 